And you've witnessed some great comebacks. I mean, first of all, the strength that your grand grandma and the the uh, influence that your grandma had on the entire family, of yeah. course, was passed down. But to see your look, it's not easy to overcome the Chicago streets, yeah. especially when a vice gets a hold of you. Yeah. And you got to witness your mom. Shout out to Pastor Wade. Yeah. You got to witness your mom's comeback. Yeah. So again, that goes back to you when you, you said things like at one point you wanted to end it all and so yeah. on and so forth. Yeah. But you thought about it. Wait a minute. It ain't gonna always be like this because I remember when and I remember when. So that type of strength seems like it is in the blood. Yes. Great. <laughs> you see, what, what happens a lot of times when we grow up with disadvantages in yeah. life, we, some of us take it and we want to just keep on like, this is why I'm this. That disadvantage has to become your advantage at mm. some point. At mm. some point, that disadvantage is going to have to become your advantage, right? And that's what I mean by that. Like, Let's let's make that yeah, that that may have been a disadvantage, but where does it become your advantage when you're able to say, oh, but but give but wait a minute, listen, all I do is wait, 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 no matter what, like give me a moment, I'll be back. You wait. know, make your disadvantage. Put, put that in the comments for the people, please. We preaching tonight. Let's go. So that some of your disadvantages. This is how we get healed. This is how we get set free from the disadvantages by looking at them and saying, "Well, now what? How could this thing become now my advantage?"